face the final frontier. To boldly go to Leicester. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. And lift off. Lift off of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it is cleared the tower. The National Space Centre is one of the United Kingdom's leading visitor attractions devoted to space, science and astronomy. It is located in the city of Leicester. The building opened to the public on the 30th of June 2001. The Space Centre Rocket Tower houses the largest artefacts but it's also a space age sensation in itself. At 42 meters high, the tower is a landmark on the Leicester skyline. The transparent skin of the tower is made of ethylene tetrafluoroethylene, or ETFE. Three layers of ETFE are sandwiched between the steel girders and then inflated with air. To get the exhibits in, the tower is essentially unzipped, leaving a door 21 meters high by 8 meters wide. The center has on display the only known Soyuz spacecraft in Western Europe. This craft from 1966 was found in a car park in Georgia and was brought back to the space center for conservation. Currently, the Soyuz spacecraft family is still in service and has launched more manned space missions than any other platform. They were later used to carry cosmonauts to and from the Salyut and later Mir Soviet space stations and are now used for transport to and from the International Space Station. The rocket tower houses the attraction's biggest artifacts, including two huge rockets, the Blue Streak and the Thor. The Blue Streak was a British ballistic missile designed in 1955. The ballistic missile program was cancelled in 1960, but the rocket was used as the first stage of the European satellite launcher Europa. It was powered by Rolls-Royce engines called the RZ-2. The Blue Streak was a British success story with a 100% launch record. This example is the only one of its type anywhere in the world to be displayed in its launch state. Thor was the first operational ballistic missile in the arsenal of the United States. Thor is 20 meters in height and 2.4 meters in diameter. A large family of space launch vehicles, the Delta rockets, were derived from the Thor design. A modified version is still in use today as the first stage of the Delta II. Sitting at the top of the tower is the Satellite Zoo, a collection from around the world. including a 1957 Sputnik, the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth. Also on this level is the unused backup Beagle 2 Mars probe, which disappeared shortly after arriving above Mars. The Beagle 2 Mars spacecraft was controlled from the Space Center's Landing Operations Control Center. Also in the tower are shown a number of rocket engines. What is surprising are just how small they are in comparison to the massive craft they were powering. The centre has six main galleries of exhibits and visitor activities covering spaceflight, astronomy and cosmology. The gallery themes cover many topics, such as exploring the universe, when and how did the universe begin and how might it end, and orbiting Earth, 
you can take a look at how we use space in a multitude of ways to enhance life here on Earth. The power of the planets is truly awesome. So it's little wonder that these weird and wonderful worlds have mesmerized mankind throughout the ages. This is a piece of the heavens, a sample of genuine moon rock collected during the last moon mission on Apollo 17. Into space has a number of artifacts that have traveled into orbit including this Russian astronaut suit used on a Soyuz mission to the International Space Station and this one belonging to Helen Sharman the UK's first astronaut worn when she visited the Mir space station. All kids inevitably ask how do you go to the toilet in space? The answer is with this it seems American astronauts are toilet trained by video. A camera inside the space loo monitors accuracy. If you were asked to stick your head inside here and told it will give you space sickness, would you do it? Some did. This is a full size replica of the European Space Agency Columbus Science Module on the International Space Station. Suspended from the ceiling as you walk around are numerous space telescopes, communication and weather satellites, including the MOP4 flight spare of the Meteosat 7 weather satellite part of a series of satellites providing Earth images and weather data. The younger visitors can take control of a lunar explorer and navigate it around the moonscape. The cutting edge Space Now section shows what is being discovered in space today. A massive touchscreen news table allows visitors to view some of the latest images beamed back from the planets. Entitled Lunar Base 2025, this area gives the visitor a feel for what being on a moon base would be like. With various briefings and interactive videos, an anti-gravity chair and demonstrations of mining operations. Also in this area is the human spaceflight experience, an incredible 3D full motion simulator ride. Before boarding, visitors watch a six minute briefing program. Tranquility Base will be expanded and a new infrastructure developed. Space Center also includes a Digistar 360 degree domed space theater and planetarium. Shows produced by the in house creative team have caught the eye around the world and at present play in almost 20% of the world's largest full dome planetaria. Stand anywhere on the Earth, and space is never more than a mere 100 kilometers away. At this distance, you are beyond Earth's atmosphere, and are officially an astronaut. 100 kilometers. That's less than some people commute to work each day. And yet, just 50 years ago, this distance was out of reach. Decades of research and development into spacecraft has allowed us, for the first time in the history of the human race, to leave our planet and explore what is beyond. 